Hi guys, this is the Pestilian. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering the Collector task, which is all offenses task at the moment. And it is the one to unlock the Kappa container. So I'm going to go through each individual item you need to find, where to find them, and also which quest you don't need to do. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So the Collector task is unlocked by completing every quest in the game, Besides are uh, all the newest ones that are added and I'll put them up on a list on screen somewhere over here or here And the way it works is all the new quests that were just added to the game in say the last three months None of them are required Also any of the ones that are required to give you more reputation or to boost um, stats So the perfect example is something like mentor where it gives you three sniper levels All those kind of tasks are not required What I'll do is I'll put a link down below to the uh, EFT wiki page for this task and you can keep up to date with the tasks that are required. But as a summary, um, that's pretty much where it's at. I'm, I'm guessing in the future, they'll still add some of the newer tasks to the uh, collector task. But for now, this is where it's at. So now with that out of the way, let's go through each of the individual items, starting off with the fire steel. Now, the easiest way to find the fire steel is actually on labs. Uh, there's a robotic arm cage. And if you go into the side where that robotic arm cage is, you can generally find the old fire steel here. Um, the clean gun oil spawns here as well and fuel conditioners and there's a vertex on the table next to it but this is generally the easiest way to find the fire steel but you also do need to survive the raid and have it as the founding raid status to be able to hand it in that where that's where it can get tricky the next best bet for you to find this item is to go into reserve and you want to go to the rbam room or the rbgn room now the am room has uh shelves in the back as you enter it and along those shelves, you can find uh, there's two toolboxes. Next to the toolboxes is the fire steel spawns. Now it can kind of blend in with the uh, the woodwork a little bit, so make sure you like you do look properly and not just skim it. Uh, and the next one is the RBGN room, which is located in the bottom of the queen or king building, depending on your chess pieces. But in the bottom uh, of that building, there's two toolkits in the room, and right next to the toolkits, there's some spawns uh, for random fire trade items, and the fire steel can spawn there as well. That would be the number two place to find it if, if you wanted my advice. Otherwise, you can find it in the uh, sorry in the West 301 in the resort on Shoreline. I've, I've never really seen it in there, and I've done a lot of Shoreline runs. And also, apparently, by the wiki page, you can find it in the shelving at the back of all of Interchange's major stores being Goshen, uh, Idea, and uh, Ollie. However, I've never found it there, So and I've done a lot of raids in this game. So good luck if you do find it there, and you can keep an eye out for it. As always, you can find pretty much all these items in hidden stashes as well. So um, if you're running around the maps and you're looking at hidden stashes, you can find them there. And keep an eye out for technical supply crates and toolboxes as well, because these uh, these containers will have a lot of the uh, streamer items inside them, and you are after the technical supply crates when it comes to the fire steel. Next up, we have the antique axe. Now, personally, the easiest way to find this is killing the raiders on labs or reserve. And they'll have it just in their melee weapon slot. And you can get this one off scavs as well. And it does vendor for quite a good amount of money off Jaeger. So you will find a few of these as you're leveling up. And you should have seen one before you got to the final quest. But if you are trying to find one, the other item, the other location you could find it is in a, the Sturman crate on woods. Um, it's not the highest chance to get in there, but you can find it in there as well. Uh, if you want a different a tactic, to try and find it. Next up, we have the Battered Antique Book. Now, this used to be a really hard item to find. But it's no longer very difficult. The easiest way by far is just to loot safes. If you're after safes, um, go to customs. You got uh, in the three story dorm, you got 204 and 214. And in the th two story dorm, you got 110, 114, and 105. There's five safes in close proximity to each other that you can loot there. Otherwise, jump across the shoreline and both the cottage and the locked cottage. Um, there's four safes in there that you've got a pretty good chance to find it in. This is by far the easiest way, but there are some other locations that you can look at. Uh, the hallway, as you're running down the third floor of factory, you can get it inside that hallway, just on that, like the bookshelf halfway down. Uh, and also the mark circle on woods. Um, there is a chance to see it there. I haven't had, a, I haven't seen it born there very often. Um, and it's, the wiki page seems to think that you can find it in uh, the customs 203 room, which I've never seen it in there. Um, but you know, the wiki page says it, then obviously it's true. So um, keep an eye out for there. But guys, you'll just find this one in safe. That's the place to go for it. Next, the fire clean gun lube. We touched on it with the fire steel, but uh, go to labs and you want to go to that robotic arm cage and it's it's right next to where the fire steel will spawn. Um, this is by far the easiest way to do it. 
Otherwise, uh, technical supply crates. Um, the best way to go to technical supply crates, uh, you can find them on woods now, which isn't too bad, but go into reserve and there's the um, the underground bunker section and there's four locked cages and you'll need the PS81 and 82 key and the PSP1 and 2 key. And you can unlock all four cages. And when I refer to the technical bunkers or the, sorry, the bunker or hermetic, or hermetic door bunkers, um, these four cages is what I'm talking about. And you can loot all these for technical supply crates, ration crates, and medical crates. And this is probably the next best bet if you don't like going to labs. Uh, and this is a really good way to make money as well. So you could go just search those four cages and then extract the raid and um, hopefully be able to find it in there. The last place you could check for this one is in the uh, chairman's house by the swamp. It's the big greenhouse, if I remember rightly. And um, it can be spawning on the mattress inside there. Very small chance to find it in there. And if you are going past it, feel free. But yeah, technical supply crates and labs is your best bet for this one. Next, we have the golden rooster or the golden cock, depending on how you want to refer to it. Uh, you can get this as a quest reward from Friend from the West Part 1, um, and you can hold on to it for the, the remainder of your questing. However, uh, safes is a really good way of finding this one. It, it, you'll get it eventually. If you are really struggling and you want to get it quickly, um, the management offers on labs. If you go in there, it wouldn't take too long. If you've saved up the money, red key card room on labs as well, and in the uh, Arsenal security room, you'll be able to find it in there pretty quickly as well. But that's a very expensive method, so... Uh, generally, the best way to go is a management office or safe for this one. So back to the customs uh, in the two and three story dorms, or you go to Shoreline and there's a heap of safes over there you can search too. Next, we have the Sheriff Eli Silver Badge. Now, he's an absolute legend, but uh, you guys want to know where to find it. So um, safes is generally the best place to find this one or the golden loot spawns. You want to go to East 310 in the resort on Shoreline, East 222, East 205, West 220. Uh, are all your golden loot spawns on shoreline but you'll generally find this one the fastest on labs in the management office or in safes so there are all your options for this one um, and hopefully you'll be able to find it pretty quick there next we have deadly slobs beard oil now this one i found had a lot of success getting on interchange uh the way you want to go is you want to go to the power station and where the computer terminals are there's a filing cabinet uh, there's two shelves next to that computer area and you'll be able to find it on the shelves there Generally, that's the easiest way of finding it. Otherwise, you want to head all the way over to Ollie. Now, out the front of Ollie, there's a furniture store and there's some shelving directly on the far side of it. Uh, and they can spawn on the on the bookcases in there. Otherwise, head to the back offices. This is where you use the Ollie logistics key. And on the back, um, I guess, desks in the back of each of those rooms, as well as further down, uh, there's another little office area with shelving as well. You can find it on top of there. Um, I've nearly always found it in those locations but you can find it on shoreline as well. Also in the chairman's office and uh, in the hole in the wall entrance on the west wing breach entrance. I haven't really had much luck finding it there in the past, but um, that's generally the fastest and easiest way to do it is going to interchange and get it in either the power station or around the Ollie uh, area. Next, we have a Summit's 1G phone. Now for this one, um, the, the fastest and easiest way you can get this one is going to the tech stores on interchange and they're pretty much I found these ones really consistently. So there's Rasmussen, there's Techno, uh, Techo or something like that. And then uh, Tech Light up the top. Otherwise, there is the phone store down the far other end of Interchange as well, where you can find these as well. So um, that's easily the fastest way you're going to find it, but you can find it in marked rooms as well. And um, that's pretty much the best bet for you to get it. I haven't really found it anywhere else, um, but those tech stores, you should be able to find one nearly every raid. That's how common these ones are. Next up, we have Devil Dogs Mayo. So for Devil Dogs Mayo, the fixed spawn location to be able to find this one quickly is in the West Wing room 216. Um, you do need this quest, uh, this key for a quest, so you should already have it. Um, but yeah, West 216 is your best bet to get it. And also in the safe room, um, where you have to go into the bathroom and flick the switch and then go down to the safe room and interchange, you can find it in the, in the shelving there. There's a, a heap of food spawns. If you don't want to spend the money or get those keys or go into those, those locations, your best bet is to go into reserve, go down to that bunker area that I was talking about uh, with the four cage rooms, and you'll be able to find it in the food supply crates there, the ration supply crates. Otherwise, head over to woods, and there's a fair few ration supply crates on woods now where you can find it over there. Shouldn't take you too long to get this one though. Next up, we have can of sprats. This one's very straightforward. You shouldn't have too much of an issue finding this one. 
all the ration supply crates that I've spoken about before being in the bunker of reserve. Otherwise, going into the ration supply crates on woods, you'll be able to get this one very fast. I, I would say within two to three ration supply crates. Um, otherwise, all the food uh, spawn locations throughout the entire map on any of the maps um, generally have the can of Sprat. So this one shouldn't be too much of a problem for anyone. Next, we have Dr. Lupo's coffee beans. There are a few fixed spawns throughout the maps um, that you can find it being in customs on the uh, on the couch on the first floor of the three-story dorms. If you entered from the construction side, you'd go all the way down to the end where it turns into like an L shape and there'd be a couch on the right. But personally, the best place to find Dr. Lupo's coffee beans are the ration supply crates. You really should find these very quickly, um, a couple of runs, and that would be it. They used to be a lot rarer. Um, people used to have to go through duffel bags for days to be able to find these and, and hidden stashes, but they are a lot more common now. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem right now. Next up, we have the Raven figurine, which is Markstrom's streamer item. Um, this one is most easily found in the uh, safes. If you search all the safes on customs and shoreline, like I've said before, um, that's in customs three-story dorm, you want to go to 214 and 204. And in two-story dorms, you want to go to 105, 110, 114. Otherwise, head over to shoreline. Uh, the cottage area has four saves or you can head down to the pier there's also some down there uh shouldn't take you too long to get this otherwise the golden spawns as i touched on before on shoreline being um in the east wing 310 uh triple two 205 or west 220 um golden spawns can have that spawn there as well if you don't want to search safe next up we have veritas's guitar pick um same as before with the raven uh you can search all the saves that i sp spoke about you can search the golden loot spawns and also it's very common to find this one in the management office on labs as well um the raven is somewhat common there too so uh yeah management office spawn on labs i won't repeat all the spawn locations just check out the um the raven just from the time stamp before next up we have the 40 second signature blend english tea this one is sacral streamer item and the ration supply crates is the best bet for this one go into reserve go to the four cage rooms in the hermetic door bunker area um, otherwise you can have it at woods and check out the ration supply crates on woods won't take you too long to get one of these they're fairly common okay for the next one pestilis plague mask being my streamer item the easiest and fastest way for you to get this item now is the cultist so you want to head into any of the maps that have the cultist spawn they spawn between 11 sorry 2300 and 0500 and then you just want to kill them uh, kill them and one of them nearly always has the Pestily Plague Mask. So it shouldn't be too difficult for you to get that. Um, otherwise, you can have this spawn on Rishala's, Sanitar's, or Sturman's uh, minions. Not as common. Um, and the next best bet is you try and use the Moonshine searching in the hideout. But uh, generally, cultists have one nearly every time now. So that's where I would recommend going to get that. The last three stream items I want to talk about. And I'm going to put a bonus fourth one in on it. So uh, Sequisha's Fake Mustache, the Cotton Beanie and Shroud's Half Mask. Scavs and Raiders are generally the fastest and easiest way for you to farm these. So if you're good at labs, go into labs and farm the Raiders, but you can do that on reserve. Otherwise, your next best bet, personally, I like going Nighttime Factory and just running the, the Scavs on Nighttime Factory. You kill the players, farm the Scavs to the last minute, and then just extract. That would be the next best bet. And the, the fourth item that I'm gonna chuck in with this group here is Smoke's uh, new face mask. Um, that stream item hasn't been added to the collector yet, to future proof this video and I'm imagining that it will be added i would i would say that his stream item would be uh farmed the exact same way it's actually very common to find this one on your player scav so if you're after smoke streamer item go on your player scav every now and then you'll find that one and uh, you can use this method of going into factory on your player scav quickly running around and searching all the other scavs see if you find one that has the streamer item you're after after shoot them and then be able to run out anyway that is it for this video i've covered all of them in as much detail as i can uh, i know i get a lot of questions where to find specific items for each streamer and so hopefully this will be able to help you guys out um go down uh, below there's links to all the other task guides down below um and you'll be able to chase up any tasks you're struggling with timestamps as well if you're probably watching this one you've already finished all the other tasks but i'm trying to keep these up to date and i do update them for each uh major wipe that happens so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help out with discoverability and also share it with your friends if they're new to Tarkov and they're and needing help to get some uh, of their quests done. Um, besides that, guys, usual drill. Uh, after you do the like, comment, subscribe, notification bell to keep up, up to date with everything. Uh, I, and I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. I'll see you next time.